seems to happen a lot. You, me, an Italian restaurant. All that's missing is the fortune teller. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. What the hell was that for? That was for Jax. Really? All in the name of Candy Boy? Don't tell me you're surprised. A little bit, yeah. Well, why is that? Well, because, you, you know, I haven't seen you in, what, months? And you show up here, and you don't know what went down with me and Jax. I'm more in the loop than you might imagine. Enlighten me, Kate. Jax was only trying to protect his daughter. You're misinformed already because you're saying protect when what he did was kidnap her. He came in, he took Carly's daughter. So, so that gives you carte blanche to sabotage his plane? Are you even hearing yourself? Yeah, I had nothing to do with that plane no, going down. No, don't, Sonny. So don't Not with me. That. Somebody hurts you, you hurt back. Whether it's Eddie Esposito taking Olivia to the dance, or Tommy Pallone playing a song on the radio that you didn't like, or how about Rocco Boetti spraying graffiti on your sidewalk? That last one, I was only trying to, you know, take care of the neighborhood. Or Brenda walking out on you. Somebody always has to pay, Sonny, even if it's the wrong person. Okay, that little girl belonged to her mother, period. This has nothing to do with Jocelyn. You went after Jax because of Brenda, because he warned her that she couldn't be safe with you. He did a hell of a lot more than that, Kate. Wake up, Sonny. Jax did not force Brenda to walk out on you. She did that on her own. But who cares, right? Custody battle gave you an opening. You didn't even hesitate. Contrary to popular belief, Jasper Jax is not a saint. I think you mean was. And you're absolutely right. He wasn't a saint. He was a father that loved his daughter, who wanted more for her than a life dodging bullets. So what now? He's a hero? Is that what you're going to put on that jackass as a obituary? What'll be put on yours? Is that why you came all the way across town to talk to me about my bitch here? No. I imagine a lot of people already have a rough draft of that in their drawer. You, you want to drink something? A glass of red wine? Do I look like I would like a no, glass look, of wine? You look great, mm -hmm. but you sound angry. How condescending are you? Well, look, we haven't seen each other in what? Months or whatever it is, and you slap me in the face, and you start throwing blame around? No, I'm not blaming you. Not for all of it, anyway. Yeah, that's generous. Your trashy bitch of an ex-wife should take some of it, though. Oh, that's Connie coming yeah. out there, isn't it? Well, that's true to form. Defending Carly. Well, she's the mother of... You're a mother of your boys. I committed it to memory, just like all the Beatitudes. I'm not going to turn my back on her. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand she's turned hers on you. Carly, come around. You know, she always does. Like every woman who's had your child. God, Sonny, you must be something special. You didn't stick around long enough to find out. I'm so sorry to cut our love story short. Getting shot on your wedding day can do that. It didn't have to end like that. It almost ended my life. I didn't want to die. I didn't want to sit back and watch you die either. I'm still standing. For how long? A lot of people try to come after me over the years. No one's been able to bring me down. It's not people I'm worried about, Sonny. Because let's face it, you're your own worst enemy. What you're saying is you're happy to see me? <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. No, no, I just, it's nice that you care, because, you know, and seeing me brought that all back. No, 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 seeing you did not bring it back. Olivia came to my office, and you know how she uh, gets all crass and scrappy, ordering me around like I'm, like she's my boss. Right, well, it's effective. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. Yeah. But, um, but she had a point. Sonny, you've made some bad decisions. Make that god-awful, what were you thinking yeah, can decisions. Yeah, we not get but into that because I... I know why. I have known you for more years than I care to count. Mm -hmm. And deep down, you are still that wounded boy from Bensonhurst, struggling like crazy to hide your bruises. I wanted so badly to protect that boy that you were. And after all these years, look at you. You still need protecting. You can apply for the job if you want. No. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I can't save you now, no more than I could then. Well, if you're not going to do it, who's going to do it? 
You. You're wasting your breath and you're wasting my time because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not going to be saved or you know. All Is that all right? Shit. Yeah, I'm fine. You know. You're I mean. fine. Yeah, I can see that. You know what else I see? Huh? A man running like hell from his past. It's impossible, Sonny. Sooner or later, the past will catch up with you. Not if you don't give it any power, it won't. It will always have the power unless you go back and stare it in the face. It will always be the one in control. So, you don't like the way I treat your mother? Well, she's my wife. She'll earn respect, like you. Ow! Time to learn a little respect. You know better than to raise your hands to me, boy. Don't you ever talk to me that way again. You got a lesson coming, sonny boy. You bastard. Have you learned how to swim yet? What? Have you? No, what does that have to do with well, anything? Well, it just seems a little hypocritical. You come into me lecture me about, you know, running from our past when you ran from yours so fast oh, that you left skid marks. That was different. Well, you, you wanted uh, a different life, right? You changed your name and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, why is that, that not running? Yes, Sonny, I ran fast and furious because I wanted a better life for myself. So did I, Kate. No, you went from being bullied to being the bully. What a triumph. I'm not going to explain myself. You don't have to. But your children deserve more. My children? I'm doing everything I can with my kids. That's garbage. You are barely hanging on. And when you finally lose your grip, and you will, you are going to do irreparable damage to your kids. And then you will be no better than Deke. done with this conversation. So what, I'm dismissed? No, it's up to you. You can stay, you can go. I just don't, you know, it doesn't matter where, you know, how I got here. Who cares? You say that like it's set in stone. We are human beings capable of making choices, of making changes. Maybe I don't want to change. Maybe I'm fine the way things are. Well, guess I was wrong about you. I guess I don't know you as well as I thought. Okay, I'll be right there. I gotta get to the hospital. Someone hurt? Uh, Christina, she's having surgery. What kind of surgery? Spinal. Oh my God, is she gonna be all right? That's what I want to find out. Well, send her my best, please. Yeah, I will. You know, the injury, you know how, when it happened? No. When Johnny Zakara's car exploded. Everybody thinks it's my fault. And they would be right. 